All right, here we go. We're into winners' finals. Yeah, featuring Kieran and Lucretia. So probably what we expected. Um, I believe we're going to be joined by UK Sam here. Yeah. Hello. How's now it going? I have been beaten into submission by both these people, so I expect a great set. Yeah. I mean, I've been pretty much the same. So. Although I like to put on record that I have not lost when it's money, uh, when money is involved against Kizo. I've lost every single time to lose. So usually when they, yeah, we could. Usually when they see me, hard. Lucretio usually sends Kizo to losers, isn't that? Yeah. I mean, we're seeing the Palutena, I believe. Yeah. I believe this is what he's been going through through with and winner's side today. Mm. What they're saying that you can take comfort that might completely beat Lucretio this weekend using Palazzina. So yeah. maybe Kieran's been watching Light this weekend and takes a few tips. Mm. Now he brings out the uh, Palazzina. That's because in the friendly tournament we have uh, earlier with score uh, with score strike is it? Score yes. strike. Uh, he managed to take three stocks with Palutena in a five minutes first strike uh, against Luke. Very nice. So that's why we're seeing this adaptation rather than the Pokemon train that he usually brings up. <laughs> I, I always love seeing people try and edge, uh, edge guard and ledge trap uh, rocks with their own dry rocks. It's always quite funny, especially when people don't specifically know how to use it, so they just drop it on edge. I do exactly the same thing. I mean, I just hope for the best. I mean, that's what I do. Mm. Uh, that's how I play the game. I just expect things to happen, like mm. explosive flame killing them. Because mm. they're taking the lead. Uh, however, it is, I think, Upsmash will take him at this percentage. Yeah. Like, I'm happy with Palutena in this game. Like, she's so much better than she was in Wii U. Uh, um, I'm not happy. I would prefer if she was, like, high tier rather than. Is she still considered top tier? Uh, or is she just high, high tier? I mean, she's definitely one of the better characters in the cast. Yeah. Uh, I feel like my only issue with is that, yes, Nair can combo, which is nice, but, and it can kill as well, but ha having both... Yes. And the fact that up air is also such like a combo tool to juggle? I mean, up air has it, always been like that. Yeah, but give it, giving a character multiple options to make yeah. uh, trivial of you isn't the greatest to fight against. You're on them, I'll just neutral air. You're above, I'll up air. Oh, and it's like that. Yeah. 3-1, now the, uh, the set, the game isn't taken, there you go, Bowie 2, I'll trash. But the set definitely isn't going to be what this one sided, hopefully we will see some adaptations. And even this game, uh, Lou has done some great I mean, comebacks in the past. Halu's got a good matchup versus this job just because of how big Rob is. And mm. Just Halu's combo, combo, combo game. Yeah. Mm, combo three. However, uh, we do occasionally see gyros and whatnot being reflected uh, by Palutena's uh, side. Yep, yeah, that's a good um, <laughs> combo with the gyro there. I don't know what Lou's called it now, but watch his videos and you'll find out why he calls that move. Mm. Yeah, he is waiting for a roll there. Yeah. Uh, it is really terrifying when you're stuck between a Rob and his gyro, because you know he's going to come in with the down tilt half the time yeah. and try and uh, just combo you off with the gyro. Back air, it's suddenly a one-stop game. Yeah, Lou's slowly bringing this back. Um, mm. Well, not slowly. He's just a combo away from taking it. Yeah. Uh, if he manages to get a gyro slash neutral air uh, string into a side view play, I think it is. Yeah. Which can kill at 50. You need to be careful that explosive flame, because that's what's killed in the previous two stocks. Mm. And we're getting into last hit scenario for Lou. Yeah. But I've noticed something with Lou's gyro is that in order to just put fear into you, he just throws it directly at the ground when he's got it in his hands to bait out anything before yeah. he throws that at you. Oh, that's a good chap lot, but couldn't quite confirm off anything mm. off it. Oh, that's a into that. And they're almost coming into the right there. I believe it's only possible. If they DI incorrectly, yeah. Uh, 
However, you don't want to. You need to be careful with explosive flame. Itself. That's why you're coming high. And the upper. Uh, yep. Because I've got some out. And 102 is our moment. This is a best of five, I believe. Yeah, uh, it should be. Which means we could see a 3 0. Uh, <laughs> get, getting a chuck out of Kizzo here. Now, norm <clears throat> of course, Kizzo with his Palutena banning you never. Yeah. However, that does say to Lou, unless it's like a psychological game, it does say to Lou that he is going to maintain his teleport character. And the Sonic coming out. Seeing a new Sonic. No, this that's is a surprise. This is interesting. Mm. The, the, the end, I know that Lou has a Sonic. However, the end of the last game was more like, was more one-sided and it was only that uh, Kizzo managed to crush it out. Yeah, like, Rob Pally is not friendly for Rob. Mm. Just neutral air, it's not the most fun. No, I haven't seen much of Ultimate Sonic altogether, so it'll be nice to see what um, Sonic's can do in this game. I believe he was nerfed horribly, and people just don't like him anymore. So, I think things like... I know the uh, big thing is his up-air doesn't really connect properly at all. Because mm, you used to be able to do up-air into up the up-air, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Which would kill very early. Do you big stuff to do with spin dash cancelling? Uh, mm. That bit I'm not too sure because I'm not that advanced with Sonic. I know up-air is a big mm. thing, which it just doesn't connect properly. However, Sonic, like Snake, does have that stop being taken. Like, uh, like Snake does have the, that advantage of being able to act out of his up B. So we might be able to see, for example, a panic up B out of uh, to escape the space flame. He isn't vulnerable. He's got either the option to alter uh, the air dodge or up B and still be safe. So. Yeah, Kieran racking up this damage with all these combos here. Mm. Quite sure what Lou's trying to do here. Now, I probably won't be happy if Gizzo he does takes have out Lou. No, no, I don't. Oh, he does have a jump. Remember, he can air dodge as well. Uh, yeah. I believe that Sonic does have a pretty good air dodge. It does cover a bit of distance. Not as good as, say, Jiggy Plus, for example. Yeah. But it's still one of the better of the cast. Now, I would prefer, personally, um, this is my personal bias. I wouldn't like Lou to be sent into losers just in case uh, I have to face him if I continue on to lose his final. That's just not good. Just, just beat both of them. Just beat both of them. Easier said than done. Based on track record, easier said than done. Both in kill percent. I believe a forward smash. Dash attack taking it out. Now, that is uh, one of. It reminds me of Samus's from Smash 4. Uh, however, she did have that kill option in Smash 4 anyway, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Forward Smash, like I mentioned, taking it out. Yeah, the mutual get up not working out for Kieran there. Mm. Yeah, let's see if we can bring this back. Um, A nice thing though about Palutane still is that they do generally go through the majority of platforms on maps. I'm not sure about Smash 4 whether Smash 4 is too high, as it is one of the higher platforms. So that could be a possible counter pick. Oh, although the middle platform does make it easier for the neutral air combos. Things like that. It's got up just not connecting. Mm. Like, it's yeah. a multi hit, is it? Like two hits? Yeah, so you got the rising and then the flat with the legs. Yeah. So you only want to hit with the last hit, or do you just have to be directly centered on them? I mean, before it was just like... And it just it, co automatically yeah, combo, no matter what. But now what. You can, it just doesn't properly connect, so... So you've got to be really precise, or it's just broken completely? It's just not good in this game. Mm. Like, like if Sonic isn't in this game. Like, mm. it's, it's sad it's off-air, it's not as good, just because... I mean, it's, that's why I played it with Wii U, just for that one move. I mean, I can understand why, to be honest. He saw the new Sonic movie, decided that he was vastly, uh, vastly overshadowed by his beautiful uh, Hollywood version, and is too shy to fully use his up there. We do not mention this movie. They're, they're fixing the design. 
They're not going to fix the design. No, they are, and then they're going to make an even bigger loss on the unsuccessful. The air dodge not coming up quick enough. Yeah, they're going to make an even bigger loss on the unsuccessful movie because they spent millions to redesign the character. Kieran taking the first two games here with mm. Palutena. Now, uh, Is he bringing out a new one trick? Uh, mm. He's just going Palutena today. Well, for winner's uh, side anyway. Mm, he, he's becoming a Palutena main. Because Pokemon Trainer doesn't cut out. Because three characters, three times the time you need to lab, three times the time you need to practice. Yeah, here comes the Rob again. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't use Charizard. No, that's because you don't use Charizard. That's the reason why. No, yeah, point five is you don't put Charizard in most matches. Pandarian uses Charizard a bit, doesn't he? Pandarian, the best Pokemon Trainer yeah, main in the world. The best trainers do, but they don't use them like... like they I use him because good Pokemon trainers use him, it's just you don't use him much. Yeah, you only use him for specific scenarios, such as if you're on uh, too high percent, or you really want to just side be humiliate them. Also, Ford is. It's reminiscent of Mewtwo's, although not nearly as strong. Or oh, Mewtwo's Shadow Ford. You can see Lou frowning a little there. Some inputs. Mm. Coming to the Rob as it was close in, towards the end of the first game. We just hope it isn't a repeat. Kill. Now, I remember specifically, I believe, with Daz, another Rob domain, him telling me that it isn't the greatest to pick up uh, Gyro, only situationally. You need to pick up Gyro just because. Uh, it puts off the pressure that you otherwise may be able to uh, use. However, I don't believe that's a problem with Palutena, as a side B d makes up for it. I believe you can pick up a gyro then side B and not waste too much time. Uh, and Pizzo <laughs> not neutral getting up. I mean, <laughs> dying to platform. I, I appreciate the burner boosting from Lou, but I don't know what happened with Kim. <laughs> Oh, just for cheating away from it. Um, actually, I believe that was fully intentional. A hundred percent fully intentional. And I uh, should go again. You should go again. You should go is such a scary tool. It kills off the side, kills off the top. Combo into itself. Like, yeah, low percent. It combos percents. at early percents. It kills at high percents. I feel like it shouldn't do both. Yeah. I, I, I feel like it's a move that should be used primarily for combos. Because she's already got multiple kill options using her aerials. However, I'm on to talk where every single one of Zelda's aerial is a kill option. <laughs> True. But, but none is a combo option. True, but the oh. oh. uh, Mutual Air is such a strong move, it's pretty much in most situations. Just neutral air. Mm. That's a good for you with this one. Mm. As I mentioned before, it's incredibly oh, scary to be trapped in between a rock and it, their giant right? It's not going to go well. I mean, Lou did slowly walk up and try to grab, but failed. Mm. Now, Lou mentioned to me that he mostly he has to use walking a lot more in this game than other games, so it doesn't feel as fluid. Yeah. That's because Dash is a bit committal, uh, and therefore he's got limited options, especially with a projectile character. You, as soon as you use Dash, you're committed into like a, a tilt if you cancel it. Um, at least one during the initial dash, a tilt while you cancel it. Stalling out Diana. Um, Go for the five minute stall. It, it could work, time out. Five minutes. I mean, crazy things have happened in uh, this job. Biggest thing. <laughs> <laughs> and 200 to, to IQ. Facing uh, the SD with a. Uh, getting Kizo to homie stock without him realising that he only had one stock left. Yeah, that's a yeah. Yeah. So it's 2 1. Quite possible for Lou to take this again. <laughs> What's the set record between you guys? Yeah. 5 or 6. Oh. <laughs> 5 or 6 0. Go on, Leah. Yeah, 5 or 6 0 to Lou Cretio. So this would be Kizo's first victory. I mean, he is dragging this out a little. Just because. You know how much I love commentating this match. Mm. They're just dragging out this set <laughs> to maybe a game five. Just like Palutena drags in Rob with her neutral air. Yeah. Can you finish this off quickly? 
So you don't have to go to game five, so that's commentating another game. I'm jealous. In Casual Smash, they're playing the Scoop custom map. <laughs> the Scoop. The, the most tawny legal looking custom stick. Game five on the Scoop, apparently. All oh, confidence because they're saying he's not taking it to game five. Almost followed by an ST. Yeah. Is it just me or is this game uh, looming extremely fast compared to the world? Or this? Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's a very fast game. Oh, yeah. mm. Like, if you, if you try playing Wii U after playing Ultimate Ball, it, Wii U is oh, no. slow. I, I was just meaning this game of the set. Oh, right. I mean, we got to have that 60 FPS um, capture. Is it actually 60 FPS? I imagine so. Yeah, you should be. Cool. Yeah. Face at El Galo 1080p 60 or something like that. HD 60. Yeah. Oh, we don't have 4K, so sad. That would be expensive. Smash, smash isn't even 4K. Exactly. Uh, we don't need 4K. Yeah, because... but we might as well have like four times the pixels covering one pixel. But anyway. Um, yeah, back to two stunts each, so. Fairly easy? I can see this easily going to game 5. Mm. With the way things are going, that's good. Power, uh, good I think power. Blue has quite a strong combat, combat potential in general. True, but don't have Chiru out yet. Mm. You can fast pull side or side air after it's while it's still out. Yeah. It looks really weird because the momentum isn't quite correct from the rocket. Um, oh, he wants a good jab lot there. He wants a good jab lot. But just getting up in time, or, or I'm not sure what. what or like it just didn't trip, and therefore it, like stood him back up again. Oh, that back has saved him for explosive flame. Yeah. Um, we're coming by as, as usual. Yeah. Really? It's supposed to be a really strong tool, yeah. or, or Palutena, something that actually didn't have in Smash 4. Oh, what was it in Smash 4? What? Side, side B. Side B, it's a it's reflect. Uh, so okay. basically they, yeah. they combine reflect and counter into just down B now. Oh, okay, yeah. Side B, um, I saw the fame with one of the customers, yeah. in which Palutena and Ultimate in Smash 4 was a good character if you had customers. Yeah, but unfortunately you couldn't use customers on you, so... Partially because they're a pain in the ass And partially because they allowed a lot of influence. <laughs> I mean, the main one was lightweight, but they didn't bring lightweight back in the one. this one. So. I mean... I... Not, not that Palutena needs it, because Palutena is just good in this. I remember seeing something ridiculous with Pikachu. Absolutely ridiculous. Something that like E-Sound did. Which was just so stupid looking and it was so effective. Nice catching the giant there. I can't remember what it specifically was, but you would see some ridiculous combos. I remember also seeing Palutena's side B in Smash 4 electrocuting people, like Samus's and Neutral B, yeah. which was interesting, or Coin Neutral B. And back for sure taking. Yeah, last stop, possibly final game. Hopefully not, because um, I don't want to face you when he loses. But we'll see. Kizo is playing very well today. Having warmed up against many a player. Good player. You may be pulled out from casting this long game. Oh! That's like. Um, was that a missed hit? No, he just didn't hit the. Ah, oh, it looks so close to like it. But that's yeah. the advantage of going lilac. Yeah. In that there's he so little right ledge. There. Yeah, yeah, there's so little ledge to actually take on. Yeah. Oh. And, and suddenly it's too all. On the brink of a reverse 3 0, do you think that Kizo can clutch it? If he doesn't make mistakes like that, then yes. Oh, and in his rage, he rips off the <laughs> Wii U adapter off the table. <laughs> you can see it in his eyes, the burning rage. What a heathen, destroying equipment. Pretty much. So yeah, let's get into game 5 here, shall mm. we? Um, mm. Now we do have the weak... Oh, I'm not sure. Lou wanted to go for the zero today. Uh, I'm not sure what's the uh, what's the intention with the counterpick to Lila 
because I think it works better in Rob's favour in that he can go under more easily and his up air just goes straight through the stage. I think it's more for the gyro just because of the slow time. Ah. Oh yeah, and Lou does find the Yoshis almost every single time. Yeah, and that's the main reason why you don't see Yoshis first as well. The only time uh, I almost took a set off Lou was because he didn't ban the Yoshis twice and it was no DSR. Right. <laughs> and I almost took in third game three on Yoshis as well. That was fun. Oh. And the gyro, although I think back end might have taken it anyway because yeah. he was out of jump. But that, just that's, extra that's stars. That was, a, that was a clean kill. Mm. Teleport doesn't have too much of range compared to. It's, is it, I think it's about the length of me to teleport, isn't it? There or that. But you maintain more momentum after landing, I think. After using it. It's a great. Recovery. I've seen people more easily two frame teleports because you've got that animation where you reappear if you don't snap the legs completely before and then you've got the extra two frame. Yeah, Kieran starts to get a little bit desperate here, spamming explosive planes. So. Almost even. Well, we'll catch him. Mm, Not almost, quite there. Um, we're getting to both kill percentage. Of course, he was already in kill percentage, but kids are down the stock. And the up going to the stage, like I mentioned earlier. It's a tilt. That? Mm. Nope, no kill. It's. Uh, the dash type. What's he at? Uh, yeah, he's he trying to pick it up, I imagine, so that Lou doesn't have it immediately. He wanted a roll read there, but he read the wrong way. Mm. Oh, we have Scooper going on in the background, if you can hear it. Uh, people being picked up and dying to Scoop. Amazing custom stage. Alright, so Lou's taking a, a whole stock leak now. Kieran's um, mm. got it all to play for, but... The side B combo taking it. Uh, that's a reverse duo from Lou. Yeah, they... So close. You can see Kieran breaking up a little there at the end. Uh, no. Um, Anyone, any of you guys want to do a quick interview? No. <laughs> exactly. So... Yeah. We've done like two interviews before. That was a game five and um yeah. Um, pretty something.